<sighs> I'm pretending to wake up so that I can show you a five second dog. Hey, Boo Boo, unleash the hounds. You know when a car can go a quarter mile in 10 seconds, they call it a 10 second car? Well, we got a dog that can go from one end of the house to the other in five seconds. So we call her the five second dog. And we love our dogs, but we love sleep, quality sleep uh, also. So rather than let them sleep in bed with us, we put them at the crate at the other end of the house and unleash them in the morning after we wake up. How do we do that? Bit of magic? Uh, follow the two second man and I'll show you. I did a video a couple of years ago on an earlier version of this dog door. Um, we simply have a solenoid up here and a spring down there and we had the solenoid fed by a 12 volt power supply that was controlled with a Z-Wave module. Problem was that Z-Wave module once went on and didn't go off. These solenoids only should be on for a few seconds otherwise they overheat. Um, so we upgraded it with the same setup we used in the window curtain motor I showed you last month. It's got a D1 Mini in here with, uh, and then we can control the device locally with the button or we control it with the voice via home assistant. Hey Boo Boo, unleash the hounds. So let me show you the what's in that box. We have a $5 D1 Mini, which is uh, uh, uses the ubiquitous ESP chip, one of the ESP chips. And we have a high voltage, high current um, transistor, uh, L298. And if you solder these headers just right, uh, you can just use them to mechanically link these two together. The headers of those pins can line up uh, between the two boards. Then put a button in a box and uh, put this stuff in the box and you're good to go. Then you can use the ESP Home plugin that Home Assistant has and very easily um, program in a new device using, just follow their little wizard here, tell them you have a D1 Mini and tell it which port, serial port it's on. Flash it with the code once and then you can use the over the air updates on subsequent changes. Uh, this is the code for that doggy door. It's very simple. You just tell it what pin the solenoid is on and what pin the uh, button is on. And uh, this will just then react to that by turning the solenoid on for two seconds whenever it receives that button command. Or um, when we set it up, so you can control it over MQTT uh, via Node-RED or Home Assistant. A well, pretty slick setup. Those D1 minis or the CSP chips are um, very handy uh, to use for uh, all sorts of things. We have another uh, example I'll show you next month where we dog related, trying to teach these dogs not to bark so much. <laughs>